What's good guys, in this video, I'll be showing you how to create this dolly zoom effect. I'm sure you guys have seen this effect in a few movies as well as a few music videos. And you would actually create this effect with the camera that you're recording, but in our case, we'll be creating everything within After Effects. So here in After Effects, I have this clip of Dave from the Stop Giving Me Advice Lyrical Lemonade music video. And what we're going to do in order to get started is we're going to first start by rotoscoping our subject, double click the layer, and then grab the rotor brush tool. And to make your brush bigger, you can hold the control button left click and just drag your mouse to make it bigger or smaller and then if there's any parts that you didn't want to rotoscope you can hold the alt button on your keyboard left click and just drag over those unwanted parts so i'm going to now rotoscope my subject after going frame by frame in order to check that everything was accurately rotoscoped you want to then click the freeze button in order to lock in your rotoscope subject after clicking the freeze button, go back into the composition. And then now what we're going to do is increase the feather to 11.4. And then I'm going to decrease the shift edge to negative 31. So now, as you guys can see, we have smoother edges for our subject. We're going to now grab this layer, click control D in order to duplicate that layer. I'll bring that layer underneath and change the name of this layer to Dave BG, which stands for background. So in order to actually create this effect, we're going to have to double click this layer again in order to go into the layer and then click the freeze button for this layer so that it unfreezes our rotoscope and then you want to click the invert foreground background button so that it gets rid of our subject after clicking the invert foreground background button click the freeze button again so now if we go back into the composition and we turn off the top layer as you guys can see we have a transparent subject for our background we're going to now go to the content aware fill and if you can't see this you can go to window and click content aware fill so that it appears on your tabs here on the right i have my settings like this you want to then click the generate fill layer button and what this content aware fill does just pretty much fill in that empty space that we created when we inverted the foreground and the background we're going to then grab that fill layer which is the layer that filled in the transparency of our background and just drag that underneath our rotoscope subject and then turn the rotoscope layer back on so now we have our rotoscope layer at the top and then we have two background layers at the bottom grab these two layers and pre-compose them i'm going to now keyframe the scale of our subject keyframe the scale at 100 at the start and then for this effect i want our scale to get bigger because i want our subject to appear to be getting closer to the camera so i'll increase the scale and have it at 160 grab both of these keyframes easy ease them and then also turn on the motion blur for both of your layers and then go into the graph editor of the scale keyframes i'm going to have the influence at around 60 percent so it animates pretty fast in the beginning and it just kind of slows down towards the end for the background layer i'm also going to keyframe the scale but i'm going to do it the opposite way where it appears a lot bigger in the beginning and then once it reaches the end it gets a lot smaller so i'll keyframe the scale at 180 percent at the start go towards the end and keyframe it back to 100 percent grab that keyframe move it towards the end and then grab both of these keyframes easy ease them go into the graph editor of those scale keyframes and i'm pretty much just going to create the same exact graph so i have the influence at 60 percent now if i play this we have our subject appearing closer while the background is zooming out. I'm going to now add an optics compensation to this background layer just so that we can slightly create that distorted view. Make sure to click the reverse lens distortion. For the field of view, I'll keyframe that at 100 at the start and then go towards the end and keyframe it back to zero. Click this layer, click U to reveal the keyframes and then grab that last keyframe and just move it towards the end of the timeline and grab both of these keyframes, easy ease them. Go into the graph editor of these keyframes and then just create the same exact graph just like we did for the other keyframes. So now we have that slightly distorted effect for our background layer. And then I'm going to add a final effect in order to add some motion blur. So create a new adjustment layer. For this adjustment layer, I'm going to add a CC radial blur. For the type, I'll have that at fading zoom and then increase the amount to 20. And I'll keyframe that at the start. Click that layer, click U to reveal the keyframes and then go towards the end and keyframe the amount back to zero. Bring that keyframe to the end. Grab both of those keyframes, easy ease them. Go into the graph editor, just like before, create the same exact graph as the other graph editors so i have that at 60 percent and now if we play this we have more motion blur as the animation is happening but yeah that is all i have for this effect it's a really simple one but i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in the next video